Manufacturing the specific optical glass requires the subtle control of refractive index and other various optical characteristics. For that purpose, more than 100 types of raw materials are utilized to achieve the optimum proportion and combination for each type of glass. This powder is the raw material used in EF 500 mm F4L IS USM optical lenses. It consists of materials such as quartzite and borax, and soda ash a submaterial. Impurities such as iron that cause reduced transmittance are removed to the order of parts per million, and each material is precisely measured and placed into the V-shaped mixer. The blended primary raw materials are placed into a platinum or quartz crucible and fused in a furnace under strict temperature and time control. This is molten glass. The glass is poured into a pallet in its ultra-high temperature state and allowed to cool naturally. As the naturally cooled glass is to be cast into a continuous fusion machine, it is crushed into pieces by hand once. To ensure optimum quality, the glass is cast into a continuous fusing machine. The glass is again melted at about 1300 degrees Celsius, mixed and churned, clarified and then homogenized. Having completed this process, the material becomes homogeneous liquid glass free of air bubbles. Poured into the shaping part, the liquid glass is shaped into a sheet. This sheet is gradually cooled to room temperature while traveling on a conveyor belt through a temperature gradient type continuous slow cooling furnace. The sheet glass produced by this process is used as the material for individual lenses. In high quality optical glass production, the fusing and cooling processes are the most important. From each block of cooled glass, a test piece is cut out and both surfaces are polished for inspection. The test piece is then illuminated to check for defects. The glass is transferred to the shaping and pressing process after the quality inspection has been completed. Here, the glass is ground and pressed and formed into lenses. A variety of grinding machines and pressing machines are used depending upon the type of lens. Based on lens diameter, shape and specific gravity, the necessary volume of glass weight is precisely calculated and after cutting with a diamond cutter is adjusted by units of one-tenth of a gram. Large aperture lenses used for EF 500 mm F4L IS USM are cut by hand using heat. In order to obtain even more precise weights, the cut glass undergoes various grinding processes depending upon its type. The glass is heated further and then formed into shape by pressing. Large aperture lenses used for EF 500 mm F4L IS USM are pressed by hand using expert techniques.
automated pressing machines are used for small lenses. After going through these processes, the glass materials take on the shape of a lens for the first time. Although having the shape of an almost completed lens, pressed glass at this stage has intense internal thermal stress. To remove this stress, pressed glass is subjected to a process called annealing. First, the pressed glass is heated to 500 degrees Celsius in an electric furnace and then gradually allowed to cool. It is during this process that the internal stress is relieved and the precise adjustments of the refractive index are carried out. Due to resultant press marks on its surface, it is still not possible to focus images through the pressed lens after annealing. To remove these marks and to make the surface smooth, the lens is polished during the following lens machining process. Using a curve generator, a super high-speed machine equipped with an artificial diamond grindstone, the surface of the pressed glass is ground until it becomes a curved surface with specified roughness and dimensions. Following rough grinding, the lens is subjected to fine grinding. The surface of the lens is ground with high precision using an artificial diamond pellet platter to attain proper roughness and surface curve. To reduce the time factor and enhance the precision of the polishing step which follows, precision in the order of one one thousandth of a millimeter is required during this step. Using an abrasive sheet line platter, lenses are polished until the surface roughness reaches the specified level to the order of a submicron. At the same time, the surface curvature is also precisely adjusted. During this step, the surface of the lens becomes more and more transparent. Both front and back surfaces of pressed glass, initially opaque, are polished to achieve a transparent lens. Following polishing, the precision of the lens surface is checked using laser beams. Based on the status of fringes or lines indicating surface precision, the lenses are determined to be either pass or not. Those that pass inspection are cleaned in an ultrasonic washing machine before being transported to the next stage. The lens periphery is milled to correct decentration in the optical axis. Using a diamond grindstone, the periphery of a polished lens supported by two bell holders positioned on an axis is milled to the specified dimension. To prevent light which passes through the lens reflecting back and to protect the surface, the lens is processed with a special coating of thin film. After receiving a thorough cleaning in the ultrasonic washing machine, the lens is placed into a vacuum evaporator where an evaporation substance is coated on the lens. Firstly, the front unit is assembled. Following a careful cleaning, the lenses are incorporated in the sub-barrel. The fifth lens is the first to be placed, followed by the sixth lens. As the fifth lens is made of fluorite, extremely careful handling is required. As the lenses are directly incorporated deep into the front barrel, a high degree of technical skill is required.
Next, the third and fourth lenses are incorporated into the sub-barrel. The first and second lenses are incorporated into the sub-barrel. After each lens has been placed in its respective position within the sub-barrel, they are firmly secured with mounting rings and are fixed by adhesives. The EF 500mm lens is expertly assembled by the hands of skilled technicians. The 7th and 8th lenses used for focusing are combined together and incorporated with the back unit into the rear barrel. The rear barrel is then attached to the completed front unit and the EF 500mm lens begins to take on its final appearance. After focusing and other optical performances are checked, exterior components are attached. Both optical performance and electronic control functions of the completed EF 500mm F4L ISUSM are comprehensively inspected. This is the finished EF 500mm F4L ISUSM after completion of all processes. Canon optical lenses are a result of these varied production processes and are used throughout the world.